So happy to have you here for a midweek edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This should be an intriguing contest. Welcome everyone, courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Ali LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. It's the Los Angeles Clippers taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. Over to the wing, to the inside, Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, how about the power from DJ there slamming it down? Oh, it's stolen by Jordan. Griffin right side. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. Wow, what a moment right there. Griffin putting on a show. He is just an awesome dunker. Redick outside. Pass to Paul. Back to Redick. Outside Paul. Now Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. I mean, as good a passer as we've ever seen in the NBA, Chris Paul setting up a great look that time. Here's Anadokounmpo. The layup off target. Three misses in a row. Still looking for their first bucket. From eight feet. No good. A bit long that time. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. This small advantage is starting to snowball. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead. Trying to put the other team away. And threatening here. They get it back. Lopez. Great to see Griffin going hard on the defensive end. Rejections like that are crucial to his development. At last, their cold streak is over. They finally found something that worked. Yeah, the point is to score, so getting that first one, that always helps. And here's Reddick for three. Reddick. Yes, and it's Paul with the assist that time. Man, they're making everything and look confident. Five shots, five makes. And he gets the bucket. Lopez powering through that time. It's stolen by Holiday. Oh, and the jam by Giannis. I think Giannis loves that kind of stuff right there. His dunks sometimes get vicious. Inside. Griffin. Here's Griffin. And Griffin oh, slams it in. Precision pass into the post. Well-earned assist. Milwaukee calls timeout. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. You cannot afford to do that. When you're in an opponent's building, you got to knock down free throws. That cost him. Here's Granger. Down low. The kick out to Griffin. Pass to Granger. Shot clock at five. Here's Jordan. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Jordan's got six points. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. And Giannis throws it down. How yeah, about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team first player. Love that from the guard position. Redick outside. Pass to Granger. Back to Redick. To the paint. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Well, this is when you start to talk about Redick not just always looking for offense, clearly looking for teammates there. Middleton with it. Jordan picks him up. And the basket by Anadokounmpo. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Right wing to the middle. Here's Granger. Danny Granger. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Andre Jordan. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Here's Portis. 
And a big board and a bigger putback from Bobby Portis. 41 seconds left to play in the first. Jordan. Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Mm. Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. And that one falls for Ana Of course, one of the league's best scorers. Giannis poised to be one of the game's all-time best. Pass to Granger. Redick with it. Inside. Here's Jordan. Outside for Redick. Fires the three. Giannis with the rebound. To the inside. Outside, Ingles. From behind the arc. Here's Ana de Kumpo. If there's one end of the floor that DJ takes seriously, it's the defensive end, and he loves to get up and reject those shots. What a performance for DeAndre Jordan. He has been the story for the Clippers. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Well, hey, guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been? Just racking up the assist yeah. numbers, moving it around with great precision. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. There's a lot of rubble in there, but they're continuing to go right at the defense. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo has won MVPs, Defensive Player of the Year, and a championship. But he says, quote, I am not satisfied. As the leader of this team, that's the tone I set. I don't care about trophies. I care about getting better. And that's what I've done my entire career. Brian, he stays focused. Nose to the grindstone, Alan. Thanks for that. The Bucks trail. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And just a monster slam from Giannis that time. From Planet Pat. To the right side. Back to Paul. Redick outside. Stolen by Carter. To the paint. Here's Ana de Kumpo. He's off on that one. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. And that's a foul. Called on Pat Connaughton. That's his first foul. First team foul. Milwaukee on D. They trail by seven. To the left side wing. Shots good by Granger. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Yeah, his shot is just not there tonight, guys. And instead of trying to shoot himself out of the slump, maybe he needs to start moving the ball around and creating for his teammates. And the Bucks making a change here. Pass to Lopez. All sorts of time. Milwaukee, no good that time either. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area. And the defense gets away with one there. Now here's Jordan. And stolen by Ana de Kumpo. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. The shot by Holiday, no good. Coach loves the execution, just not the result. That's okay. That's part of the process. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Not easy to cover DeAndre Jordan when he's that deep inside. Nearly impossible to stop. He hits the second from the line. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First personal foul. They'll pin that one on DeAndre Jordan. And Giannis that time just making the most of that play, getting the foul, still getting the shot off. Good on the second one. And so here are the Clippers. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. 
Reddick, no good. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. On to Kumpo inside. Uses the glass on the layup. On to Kumpo's got 14 points. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Outside Paul. Redick outside. Outside Paul. Redick outside. Shot clock at six. Milwaukee foul. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. The Bucks making a switch here. Redick on the wing. Pass to Jordan. Paul with it. They double team Paul. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Out of bounds. There's a minute 54 left to the first half of basketball. Coming on to the floor for your Bucks. Portis outside. Pass to Matthews. Back to Crowder. Here's Portis. Second chance effort. Some solid defense from Jordan. You're not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. And here's Paul. Redick outside. Back to Paul. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. From inside. JJ. And that one drops for him. Reddick's got his second basket of the night. Well, the poise of Reddick showing up there, keeping his eye on the rim, and maybe one eye on the shot clock. Here's Crowder. And off there. He misses his first shot of the night. To the wing, right side. Pass to Jordan. Now Paul. To the wing on the left. Here's Granger. Puts up a three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Now just all alone down there. Credit goes to DeAndre for finding him. That's a nice pass. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And the basket by Holiday. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Now Paul, out to the right wing. Pass to Granger. Here's the three. Danny Fires Granger. in the triple. Three points. He's got 14. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. No, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from down. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Clippers ahead. They lead by 14. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. On to Kumpo. Bam! Sometimes as an analyst, you love to talk about strategies to slow down a guy who's got it going. With Giannis, I don't, I don't really have it. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the continuity for the Bucks is a strength. Chris Middleton said, quote, we've been through every type of situation, so you know what to expect. There's no need to worry about failing because you know what you need to do. Brian, some call it corporate knowledge. Well, key aspect when it comes to NBA dynasties. Thanks, Allie. They grab their own miss. The kick out to Griffin. Pass to Jordan. Redick on the wing. No good on the triple. You talk about things at halftime, and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board. Now here's Lopez. Back to Anadokounmpo. Nifty move. And Lopez gets it to go. Lopez. Lopez has gotten his second bucket. 
Well, that Greek freak nickname is is apropos. I mean, he can handle it. He can pass it. The combination of size and athleticism. What a talent. The three from Reddick. Buries it from three. Reddick's got eight. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And the Bucks making a change here. Bucks youth dancing. 90 seconds into the second half now. On to Kumpo. No luck on that one. Some solid defense from Jordan. The kick out to Griffin. Pass to Granger. Back to Jordan. Puts the move on. And he lays it up and in. He's got 13. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there. He helps fuel the fire. That's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense, man. And that one falls for Ana Kumpo. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Granted, it kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Anadokupo can't connect. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. And this is where you have to appreciate DeAndre Jordan's activity. Incredible at staying engaged for the full 48. And on to Tecumpo with the stuff. Well, here's the problem. He's shooting the lights out, but they're still behind. They need another guy to step up. Pass to Granger. Back to Paul. Two minutes. Remain Griffin outside. Two minutes. The kick out to Paul. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Jordan. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Jordan's got 17 points. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. And stolen by Ana de Kupo. And now they decide to foul intentionally. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Here's Portis. Some solid defense from Jordan. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Griffin. 